Do you have two tables and want to see if they have the exact same data? You can do this easily with SQL without having to manually compare the results. Let's say we have two tables in our database. The first table is called customer and the second is called new customer. We've got data in both of them. A quick glance shows us they are pretty similar. Let's say we want to see if they have the exact same data. Perhaps we are importing a table from another data source and want to see if any updates have been made. Or maybe we're checking the data between two environments to see if there are any differences. We could check the data manually, but that can take time, especially if there are thousands of rows. We can write some SQL to check this, and it works for any number of rows in the tables. We start by selecting data from one of the tables. I'll start with the customer table. It doesn't matter which of the two tables we use here, and I'll show you why a bit later. I'll select the individual columns rather than select star because the order of the columns is important in this process and the order is not guaranteed if we use select star. Then we use something called a set operator. A set operator is a keyword that allows us to combine two queries into a single result set. There are several set operators, but the one we want is called accept. The accept keyword works on MySQL, Postgres, which I'm using for this demo, and Oracle. If you're on SQL Server, you can use minus, which works the same way. After this, we can write our second select query. This means we select from the second table, which is new customer. The important thing here is that the number of columns must match the first query and the data types must be compatible. The column names themselves can be different, as you can see in this query here. But as long as the data itself refers to the same thing, the concept in this video will work. Our query is ready to run. We can run our query and see the results here. This shows rows that appear in the customer table but not the new customer table. We can see there are three rows, which means there are three rows that exist in the customer table but not in the new customer table. This query checks that all of the columns match, so there is a mismatch whether one column is different or the entire row is different or missing. We have one problem with this query. It shows records from the first table are not in the second table. But what about rows in the second table and not in the first table? So the other way around. They aren't found by this query. We'll have to write another query. Fortunately, this is fairly easy to do. We can copy the query we have, paste it, and swap the first and second select statements around. Now we are checking the new customer table first and the customer table second. We run this and see there are four rows showing, which means there are four rows in the new customer table that do not exist in the customer table. This is good, we've found data mismatches in both tables. At the moment, we have two queries. Wouldn't it be easier if it was all in one query? Yes, it would be easier. Can we do it? Yes, we can. We've used a set operator of except to combine two queries into one. We can use another set operator to combine these two queries again into one big query. To do this, we can add a union all keyword between these two queries and remove the semicolon from the first query. This will combine both the queries we have used into one query. However, the way we have written these queries includes an accept, then union all, then an accept. The database may not run these queries in the order we expect them to. We want to run these first two queries, then run the third and fourth queries and combine the results. We can make this clear by surrounding each of our sets of queries with brackets. This means these queries will get run first, and the results will be combined using union all. Our query is ready. We can run it and see the results here. We can see seven rows, which are the three rows from the first query we ran and four rows from the second query. This is good. We've found differences in the data in two tables in a single query. Our results show that there are some differences. How do we know that the data matches? If there are no results shown, then the table data matches. This is because the minus or accept keyword will return nothing as the data is the same. Let's update our data to prove this. We can write a couple of statements here to ensure the customer table matches the new customer table based on what we've learned. Now we can rerun the comparison and see that we have no results. This means the data matches between the two tables. Set operators like this are something that you may know of but don't use very often. 
there may be many things in SQL that you're not aware of, so you'll want to watch this video next to see a beginner to advanced SQL roadmap with all of the SQL features that I recommend learning and in what order. Thanks for watching.